Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Kickstart Privacy Ashik this side. In today's video I am going to talk about these two terms privacy by design and privacy by default. All right. Privacy by design and privacy by default are two related concepts that are often used in the context of data protection and privacy. In today's digital world people are sharing and storing a lot of personal information this makes many worried about their privacy and data misuse to tackle this privacy by design and default is a method used to make sure privacy is a main focus from the start i'm going to cover these topics today number 1 understanding privacy by design number 2 delving into privacy by default number 3 key principles number 4 a real world examples number 5 synergy between the two concepts privacy by design is not just a concept it is a commitment right that means that privacy should be considered and integrated into the design of any system or process from the start rather than added as an afterthought this involves taking proactive steps to identify potential privacy risk and implement measures to mitigate those risk privacy by design principles these principles have been internationally recognized and have been incorporated into various privacy regulations including the european gdpr which also emphasizes privacy by default number 1 proactive not reactive preventative not remedial that means taking anticipatory actions to prevent privacy invasions before they happen number 2 privacy as the default ensuring that personal data is automatically protected without requiring any action from an individual number 3 privacy embedded into design incorporating privacy as an essential component of system design number 4 full functionality positive sum not zero sum that means avoiding unnecessary trade offs and ensuring both security and privacy can be achieved number 5 end to end security life cycle protection that means securing data throughout its entire life cycle number 6 visibility and transparency that means keeping operations open and verifiable for stakeholders and users alike number 7 respect for users privacy that means prioritizing users interest with strong data minimization and retention measures real world examples for example a social media platform might implement privacy by design by using privacy enhancing technologies such as end to end encryption or two factor authentication to protect users data and prevent unauthorized access a healthcare organization implements privacy by design by using data minimization techniques such as only collecting the minimum amount of personal information necessary for providing medical treatment they also implement strict access controls and encryption to protect patients sensitive health information a website that collects personal information implements privacy by design by providing clear and concise privacy notices 
and obtaining explicit consent from users for the collection, use, and disclosure of their personal information. They also implement privacy-enhancing technologies such as pseudonymization and anonymization to protect users' privacy. Let's explore the concept of privacy by default. If privacy by design is a strategy, privacy by default is an action. It means that privacy settings should be set to their most protective settings by default rather than requiring users to actively opt out of certain privacy settings. This means that users are automatically protected unless they choose to make their information more public. There are principles in privacy by default as well. This is derived mainly from GDPR. Data minimization. Only necessary data for the specific purpose should be processed and access to personal data should be limited to those needing the information. High privacy settings. Systems should be set up so that they automatically protect data privacy with no action required by the user. The highest privacy settings should be the default. Limited data retention. Personal data should only be kept for the amount of time necessary to fulfill its intended purpose. No data sharing without consent. By default, personal data should not be shared with third parties unless the individual expressly consents. Transparent policies. Users should be informed about how their data is being used by default without any effort on their part. Practical implementations. For example, a mobile app might implement privacy by default by setting location tracking to off by default and requiring users to actively turn it on if they wish to use that feature. A social media platform implements privacy by default by setting users profile to private by default so that only approved connections can see their post and personal information. Users have to actively change their privacy settings to make their profiles public. A mobile device manufacturer implements privacy by design by setting the device security features such as password protection and biometric authentication to the strongest settings by default. Users have to actively change these settings if they want to use weaker security options. Relationship between these two concepts. These two concepts are two sides of the same coin. While privacy by design emphasizes building systems with privacy in mind, privacy by default ensures those systems operate with minimum privacy from the outset. Conclusion In summary, Privacy by design and privacy by default are both important concepts that aim to protect users' privacy. Privacy by design emphasizes the importance of designing systems and processes with privacy in mind, while privacy by default focuses on setting the most protective privacy settings as the default.
both these principles stress the need for organizations to take a proactive rather than a reactive approach to data privacy in essence privacy should not be an afterthought it should be an integrated from the start and maintained throughout with this thank you for watching have a great day ahead please subscribe for more relevant content on the topics on data privacy and protection bye bye